What's up everyone? Welcome to the ninth episode of Make Gears Great Again. This one's close to our hearts because it's about lag. Yep, that wonderful thing that literally every single player online will experience and get screwed over by or bettered by. I've wanted to make a video about this subject for years now, but every time I've tried talking to what I thought were intelligent people and getting their feedback, I was told I should just get better at the game. Today, that is no longer the case. If you've been watching the previous episodes, you would have noticed the mark at the top left that shows how much ping I had while playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now, Before I continue about that, I want to explain that depending on what Gears of War you're playing, you'll be playing on dedicated servers or peer-to-peer -peer host, or a combination of both, or none of them. The reason I'm telling you this now is because in the 10 years of Gears of War being out, the developers have been extremely quiet and secretive about what the actual processes are of host selection or how much ping actually affects the players. If you have no clue of what any of this stuff means, then I suggest you watch the video I've linked in the description first. There you'll see an easy to understand explanation on how servers function and what ping truly means. Also keep in mind that if there was a different system in place, the Gears War developers would have told us before. And they haven't which proves that information. Now back to this video. The reason I put the ping up in the corner is so that you can see how many strange things will happen regardless of my connection to the server. Point blank shotguns against still standing players would still not register at times. Even multiple shots that were done without missing. Lag in Gears of War will affect everyone and it's often mistaken by players that this is solely their own fault. I can assure you it's not. At least not every bit of it. Those living in areas with poor connections to begin with cannot be blamed for their bad connections. But their attitudes can. See, I've been playing with and against many players in the last 10 years of Gears of War. And I've witnessed some ridiculous things happen and it's becoming more and more evident that when you're playing against certain players, regardless of your ping, they will ignore your bullets or actions, no matter what you do. This isn't a specific title either. Every Gears of War has had this problem. Even when you set up a specific test in a private match, there is a big chance that the game will fail during critical moments. During the years of Gears of War 1 and 2, there were a lot more problems than just lag. But with the arrival of Gears of War 3, there were promises of dedicated servers. Now of course, the entire community of players believed this was the time that the game would finally flourish for us all. And we'd all get equal chance at last. Sadly, we were wrong. During the first few months of Gears of War 3, the game ran like a dream for most of us, at least those that lived near the servers. Till the first DLC dropped, then we all experienced much more lag than ever before. The introduction of a playlist called TDM No DLC truly gave it away for me and my friends. Often we'd have times where we thought we had connected to the dedicated server, but when we were playing, all players would suddenly get the message that we were disconnected from the host. And this was followed by a loading screen that would repick the host. But it turned out, no one had left or disconnected. Now Gears of War lag doesn't just increase the problems between hit detection of you hitting your target, it also creates animation inconsistencies, weapon inconsistencies, and inconsistencies between you and your target. As in, when the other player shoots you, cause they might kill you from ridiculous ranges or animations. This process repeated itself on other playlists, and slowly through the years the players with worse connections would have an upper hand over those that didn't. They would be able to physically move faster than those with good connections to the server, which in anyone's standard should be completely unacceptable. Besides your normal connection there is also frame lag and input lag that are connected to your TV slash monitor's refresh rate. This is mostly noticed during the older games or remakes but can happen to just about anyone with a low refresh rate on any of the games. Now this combined with bad ping or a bad connection to the server will create an even worse experience for everybody. I understand that this video can sound like one big excuse, but you don't have to take my word for it. Play the games and experience it yourself. Find the thousands of videos that show inconsistencies that are related to lag or animations and you will see that it can actually make or break your game. Sadly, I can't tell you how to remove your lag problems, but I can tell you why it's important that you remember that to believe that you only control the game from your end. 
You do not control the server, you do not control the connections or the opponent's connection. I have to honestly admit that after playing for so long, I fought and seen battles that should have never been lost purely because of a shot being ignored or even a string of these happening in real time, right in front of me. It is one of those things that I believe keeps a generation of current players back because they're either ill-informed, poorly educated themselves on the matter or simply don't want to know the truth. And on one hand, I completely understand. Why would you want to learn these things just to play the game? I sure wouldn't after a long day of stress or just wanting to play my favorite game. So to reiterate and finish this complicated video, do yourself a favor and don't worry too much about the outcome or results if you're having a bad game. Also, do not believe you can do everything you see in montages or highlights because it can be completely up to bad connections that the player gets those kills, moves the way they do, or gets moments like you see. Now that's it for this video. I hope you understood enough of this to make your own conclusions. Let me know in the comments what your worst lag moment was on Gears of War. Thank you for watching. Until next time.